no dog sold or raised for illegal purposes. This is a historical and entertainment-based channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Taken from The American Staffordshire Terrier by Jacqueline Fraser. Ike Stinson served as a board member and was STCA delegate to the AKC during a crucial point in the breed's modern history. When the AKC opened their books to Staffordshire's in 1936, many breeders of good dogs did not register them. Some fanciers feared that showing in the breed ring would eventually ruin the dogs because it would lead to breeding for appearance at the expense of temperament. Other fanciers resented the name Staffordshire, preferring the UKC's American Pit Bull Terrier designation for their dogs. Until 1963, purebred dogs that had not been registered with the AKC were allowed to be shown at AKC breed shows. The owner was simply required to fill in the show entry and check listed instead of writing in an AKC registration number. After the exhibitor had shown his dog three times in this manner, and if he wished to continue showing, he requested permission from AKC. However, even though the listed dog could win a championship, his progeny were not eligible for registration. By the mid-1950s, one-third to one-half of the staffs that were entered at major shows and national specialties were listed dogs. Some of the top winners with desirable bloodlines did not have AKC registration numbers and consequently could not be used to produce AKC puppies. The quality of the listed staffs of that time may best be understood by taking a look at some specialty results. At the 1958 National Specialty in Atlanta, Chech Knight Crusader was best of breed, Tacoma Cherokee Rose was best of opposite sex, and Knight Patroller was winner's dog. All three were listed. At the National Specialty in Detroit in 1959, best of breed was Chech, Knight Crusader, and winner's bitch, best of opposite sex, was Jones G.A. G. 1 Goldie. Both of these dogs were listed. Best of winners that year was Chi, Rip Rock Irish, Meek, the only registered dog in two years to obtain a major win at a national specialty. A full page ad in the 1959 specialty catalog advertising Betty Trigoning's Leelan and Canel showed a picture of Chilean Princess Amber, CD, the 1956 specialty winner and top producing bitch. She was listed, as were her eight champion git, including Chilean Bucky T and Archer's Diablo Bandino. It was obvious there was a real need for this fine stock to outcross with the registered dogs, and consequently, the STCA voted to correct this situation. In 1956, Ike Stinson was appointed chairman of the registration committee. For the next several years, at his own expense, Mr. Stinson made trips to the AKC offices in New York, wrote countless letters, and compiled the necessary statistics to present to the AKC with the hope that it would open its registration books to the listed dogs. The AKC turned down the request in 1958, but that didn't stop Mr. Stinson, nor Howard Hadley, who also was working on the project. Finally, on February 18, 1960, John Neff, a vice president of the American Kennel Club, sent the historic letter to Mr. Stinson, informing him that as of February 18, 1960, and until February 18, 1963, AKC registrations would be accepted for qualifying litters, but not for individual dogs. This was acceptable to STCA since it served the purpose of enabling breeders to use the quality listed dogs to produce AKC registrable litters. To be certain that the listed dog was a worthy sire or dam, the AKC stipulated that the three-generation pedigree submitted must include at least one registered dog and that the listed dog must have at least one major win at the time that notice of intention to breed was filed. Thanks for listening. Like, subscribe, and tell a dogman or woman about the Sporting Dog Archive.